Greetings and salutations, my name is GW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And I've done a little work off camera, namely, I have uh, beefed up the missiles just a little. And right now they're set at, uh, uh what, 66% beam? Yeah, I'm, I'm not satisfied with this entirely. But it will, uh, it will take out an Isson. Isson? Is it Isanth? Isanth? Whatever you want to call it, it will kill one. So let's, uh, pull one up. Oh, 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 let's do a type BM. Because those are the best types. So let's back her up and let's... Phew! Oh, I was one-shotting them yesterday. Yeah. I guess yesterday we just got a lucky shot. All right. Ooh, will my cannon one-shot one? One-shot one. Why are you putting them above me, game? So for whatever reason, I was able to sneak up on an Isanth. I know my 600 meter long ship is able to sneak up for perma cloaking. And get one good shot in, would I be able just to fry this thing? Phew! Uh. That does not look like that did a tremendous amount of damage. That almost looks like it did absolutely zero damage. Huh. Let's back it up a bit. And zoom using my magic zoom powers, which I mean by this right click. Go pew. Um. I haven't made this thing invincible, have I? No, no, it's definitely not invincible. There, I one-shotted it. Okay. So, that's another thing. The broadside, really, I want the tracking to, or the, the missile portion, I want it mostly to track fighters, because there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, track them and hunt them down using this driving. And also, just a general assault. Ooh, yeah, too close. And for whatever reason, apparently my cannon isn't doing anything. Uh, let's pull in a missile boat. What's a missile boat, maybe you ask me? This is one of my old designs. And it just vanished into the ether. Am I on a sector boundary? Oh, that did it. And it stopped spinning inside. Cool. Yep. Alright, so wonder wonder why it didn't do much to the Asanth. I wonder if it's just super over penetration. Pew. And pew. <laughs> Alright. It's spinning like a top. I love it. Okay. Ramming speed. Boop. All right. Enough nonsense. Uh, I think that's spinning a little too quick there. Yeah, definitely. That's got some problems. All right. Let's find us a clean, clean slate. So, I have my um, missiles at least blocked in where I want them. And I have my cannon blocked in where I want it, even though I don't know why I can't hit anything with it. So let's go with one more weapon system for right now. I would like a damage beam. So let's hit X. X takes you to back to roughly where your core is. Actually, it takes a little back. X takes you to a central point in your ship. I'm not exactly sure where it is. It was usually around the core. Uh, let's see. Red lights. Red rock saying you might need to put them out today. There we go. And let's say... 
here will be the beam station for this. And let's hit here, and let's actually slow down. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, let's admin warp to this... to this, uh... station. Oh, it's a derelict station. Okay. Why are you warping to that station? Because I think I got on a sector boundary and it was causing things to go weird. So we're just going to back her on up. So it says we are in there, in this uh, sector, but we are nowhere near where we need to be. So I think Sven at one point told me there's a command to actually center you in the, uh, in the sector, but um, I don't remember what it was. Well, and since we're here, well, we're going to let that run in front of us. Since we're here, we might just use him for a, uh, hello. Oh, oh, that something shot at me. It was, it was the line telling me I had beams somewhere. Might as well use this one for some good. For some good, I mean I want to shoot it. There we go. Now getting us in the center of this, uh, of this, uh, sector should cut down on some of the weirdness I'd been experiencing. Oh, boop. Is this one to Shara made? I don't know. So let's grab damage beam. We'll set that there. Right now, there are no weapons, so it doesn't do anything. But we shall rectify that. Oh, yeah, this is great. I don't like the uh, lighting. But that's okay. We'll leave. How long is that? Oh, that's too much. How long is this space I've given me? Uh, it's not quite... Well, actually, it doesn't really matter if I can do what I want to do. Uh, let's take this down and like that. Oh, oh, oh not like that. Because I plan on pulling this portion down some. Oh, oh, also off camera, I worked a little on... On uh, armoring. I'm doing a little at a time because... Some fancy reason. Uh, I was thinking, why not just run 200? I don't want to run 200s. No. So let's do this. Uh, I don't know, like right here. Uh, we will fiddle with that later. So, two, four. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a five by five of these things. Let's let them charge. It's 1.4 million shields. And let's just hit it with some of these. Eee. Uh, okay, that is, um, let's hit, is it numpad? I want unfocused. There we go, unfocused. Nice spread of laser. Oh, yeah. How did you change from non unfocused? Well, I think it's like left alt is the, um, is the base unfocused, but, um, I've changed that to numpad 5 because I use le uh, left alt. Oh, uh, yeah, I use left alt for rotate. With my mouse hold down, left alt, spin. And every time I was spinning, I was changing my uh, weapon firing mode. And that was really annoying. Oh, I wasn't locked on, so I lopped those missiles off the starboard. And then, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I just wanted to see what I had here. Nice if I had a, uh, what, those capacitors? They were, they're capacitors. Awesome. 
It's been forever since I've seen a capacitor. For those of you who are new to the game, these guys, oh, they're beautiful. Um, uh, power used to work like shields. There was a recharge and a capacity. And these guys upped your capacity, while these guys upped your power. You notice they're not all touching, but that's because of the old weirdness before Power 2.0. I know people railed against Power 2.0, but it simplified the power. The, uh, the power, um, setup. And I think Quickfire has finally brought it to where it should be. Because, wow, if you remember the power puzzle we had, I'm glad that's gone. All right, anyway. This shield is not, or this shield, this, this beam is not very good at taking out shields. Of course, it's a piddly little 500 beams. Oh, no, it's not 500 beams. It's what? 1,300 beams, and it's not going to be great at it. No, actually, I didn't want to do that. Where am I? So, how did I... Hmm. Yeah, that one might work. Okay. What have you done? I can hear you ask. I want them not to touch, but I want them to get longer. So let's get like, uh, you know. Let's go up this way like 20, and that way 20. This is what we used to have to do with power. No, that's, a, that's silly. Well, the idea was to have like a laser shotgun. By laser, I mean beam shotgun. But I don't know if it's going to be any more effective than a just a straight beam. And I don't really know if I need a, just a straight beam. Right now, this main gun seems to take care of shields just fine. In fact, it takes care better than, than this beam here. Hmm. So, just fiddling around with the beam, I'm not sure I... Well, no, I like it for, like, vacuuming up parts there, but... Oh, that's that's what I was thinking. I wanted white damage, because this is piercing damage. Whereas this much weaker beam actually does white damage. Instead of... um. So, uh, think of this as a high-power armor-piercing um, projectile. That's what it is. It goes in, it makes a hole, it blows out a good-sized hole, but still, that's not that big. Well, it's big enough to stand two people in, three people. But it's not that big. But for spaceships, I don't really need lots of piercing damage unless I'm aiming for... Um, aiming for particular systems. Like, I want to hit this block, and I know roughly where it is. I need, I want, I want uh, this to be able to penetrate, go through, and hit that block. Oh, I almost got it, too. Hadn't been for those kids. There we go, got it. So, if using my sensors, I can tell roughly where the reactor is, I can hit it and rip it out. That's sort of the philosophy behind the big cannon. While, see, it does this, that type of damage. Well, the damage beam, I want it to do more wide damage. See, I, with a much smaller weapon system, I was able to rip apart a wider area for peeling off armor, basically. Was this penetrated and did a whole bunch of damage and took out a whole bunch of shields. I want something just to kind of shred. Like a shredder. Like the shredder. 
And the missiles, I think, are primarily going to be, well, extra firepower and, um, and, uh, taking out small targets, fast moving or faster moving targets than I can maneuver this vessel against. Now, traditionally, beams are used to uh, take out um, uh, shields, but I think in this case, that cannon's going to be just fine. Actually. And I want to use the beam for a different role. Now, of course, what type of beams do I want? Do I want, like, no, not doom beams anymore, but we'll have to work on that later. But I think I do like this array of beams, a sort of shredder. It'd be nice if uh, if I could pull it up a little, so I don't have to pull the ship up to fire. Well, then again, I could set it to focus mode, let it recharge. And then, yeah, but the problem with this is it goes narrow again. That's why I want it unfocused, because I could set it focused and that's fine, but I'm doing narrow damage. I want to do wide damage. And I believe beam does acid damage. Well, used to, anyway. Acid damage? Well, spreading damage. Splash damage, I believe others call it. Hmm. Alright, well, that was fun. And I... I think this is sort of the path I want to go with the beams. So my primary weapons are going to be the big guns. My anti-fighters are going to be the anti-fighters and a little extra oomph is going to be these missiles. Also confuse things a bit because having more stuff lying around is usually better. Then just for a cleanup, armor shredding because I found the reactor, I've hit it with the big gun, now I just need to shred it away, probably these damage beams. So just like I'm doing, I know that's not the best thing at shredding, shredding, but it's going to do surface damage. Or if I want to board something, instead of putting a hole all the way clean through it, I can, I can uh, I just kind of shred some of the armor here. All right, that was mostly me rambling, but I think I've worked out the weapon systems I want. I'm still not entirely sure, and combat testing is going to prove it, but you got to start somewhere. So now I need to bulk them up and fine-tune them. Maybe not bulk this one up. That one's probably okay. Maybe. Anywho, I've been JW608, this has been Starmade, and I will take you cats later.